Gerhard Richter is renowned for his highly realistic paintings in the traditional genres of landscape, still life, vanitas and portraiture, which he blurs by dragging a large brush or squeegee over the canvas. He thus disrupts the figurative quality of the image, drawing attention to the painted surface and the act of painting as a form of representation. In his still life lilies, Richter depicts a bouquet of white candidum lilies, commonly included in scenes of the Annunciation as a symbol for the purity of the Virgin Mother. With the deployment of his signature streaking technique, the image of the lilies verges on abstraction. For Richter, the beauty and power of the image are paramount, and the lily has become a significant emblem in many of his works. Hey, who doesn't love a surprise? A good surprise. And that's what this is. This is the surprise lily. Just look at these gorgeous pink trumpet-like blooms on each stalk. Notice the stalks have no leaves on them. They're also called naked ladies because they're so beautiful and they have no leaves to, to cover them. And what's great about them is the name surprise comes from the fact that seemingly overnight, they just come out of the ground and before you know it, they're in bloom like this. And they bloom in late summer, which makes it a beautiful addition to a hot summer garden. Where do they grow? Well, from about the middle of the country all the way down where it's warm. And in lots of places in California, these will thrive and on the West Coast, they don't like it too, too cold. The other wonderful thing about these surprise lilies is that you'll often find them growing around old homesteads or in cemeteries. That's how tough they are. They really don't require much care and they're perennial. They come back and they multiply. So there's no reason why you shouldn't have a few. You just need to make sure you plant them where they get plenty of sun. And the other thing that's great about them is they make a beautiful cut flower. So if you're not growing some of these, give them a try. You'll be glad you did. Gosh, you're just gorgeous, madam. Just gorgeous. Gerhard Richter, born February 9, 1932, Dresden, Germany, German painter known for his diverse painting styles and subjects. His deliberate lack of commitment to a single stylistic direction has often been read as an attack on the implicit ideologies embedded in the specific histories of painting. Such distaste for aesthetic dogma has been interpreted as a response to his early art training in communist East Germany. Born one year before Adolf Hitler came to power, Richter grew up under the shadow of Nazism and then within East Germany. He studied painting at the Kunstakademie in Dresden from 1952 to 1956 and thereafter became a successful social realist painter. 